welcome back to my channel and welcome to probably one of the most exciting videos I have filmed in a long time and I say that because of the product. So today I'm going to do a first impressions and a little tutorial on the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. You guys, this palette has been so hyped up and so crazy ridiculous to get your hands on. Like, I don't know. I don't, like, okay, so I remember, let me turn my light a little bit. Is that better? Probably not. Um, I remember probably like three months ago when sneak peeks of this started popping up on Instagram and I saw it and I was like, oh my god, I need that in my life. And it just recently released online at Too Faced.com, HSN, Macy's, um, Ulta, Sephora, and beauty brands all sold out. All sold out within the first like five minutes of them going up online. So I am so happy and so grateful to have gotten my hands on one. I also picked up one for you guys. So I'm going to be giving this away in my 10K giveaway. Once I hit 10,000 subscribers, I plan on doing a huge giveaway. This will be included in that giveaway. I even painted my nails peach for the occasion of this video. That's how excited I am for this video. And I did like peachy themed makeup. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna stop talking and I'm just gonna tell you about this amazing palette. So if you haven't got your hands on this palette, um, I do plan on trying to post and edit and like upload this video before it goes on sale in stores because stores release products online like way before they release them in stores. And as of today, which is April 2nd, this hasn't been released in stores yet. So I'm going to post down in the description box when it will be in Ulta, Sephora, Beauty Brands, Macy's, if I can find that information. I will link it all down below for you so you can pick it up. But like seriously guys, line up outside of the door before the stores open because it's gonna sell out. It's crazy how hyped up this thing is. People are selling these on eBay for like $160 right now. That is crazy. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> so this palette is $49. And it looks like this. Look at how pretty it is, by the way. It's like a sleek, cute little package. It's like this ombre, peachy, pink color. It says sweet peach on it. And you open it up, and here is what it looks like. These colors are so stinking beautiful. Look at them. Immediately, my eyes are drawn to this right here. And it smells like peach. Okay, so I'm getting the first row wow this color white peach the first one right there is like a matte cream peach color it's like a peachy kind of beigey cream color that's what that looks like that'll be a really 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 pretty matte highlight then below that is the color nectar and here is what that one swatches like that one's really, really pretty too. That one's more of like a champagne kind of yellowy color. It would still be a really pretty highlight. Below that is Peaches in Cream. That is, oh by the way, Nectar has like a little bit of a sheen to it, but no sparkle. Peaches in Cream looks like it is a matte color and it's more of a like peachy color than the first one, which is white peach. Like I'm gonna say the word peach a lot in this video. There's what that one swatches like. Okay, here's what they look like up close. So white peach, nectar, and peaches and cream. And then here is what the swatches look like up close. Moving on to the next row, there is Luscious, Cobbler, and Georgia. Luscious looks like it's kind of a taupey, brownish, kind of, what do they call it? I guess taupey brown. That is beautiful. Holy smokes. I feel like that is going to be like my favorite color in this whole palette. That swatched beautifully and look at that sheen. Whew. Cobbler seems to also have a little bit of a sheen to it, but it's a little bit more of a darker brown color. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Holy. Look at how just that color. Oh my god. I love this. Then we have Georgia, which is much more of a kind of like mauve movie mauve peach, and it's totally matte, so no shimmer and no sparkle. That's gonna be a really pretty crease color. It's not quite as pigmented as the others, but look at that. Okay, here's what they look like up close. So Luscious, ooh, what's that one called again? Cobbler and Georgia all right there. And then here's the swatches. So there's Luscious, Cobbler, and Georgia. Look at that one. 
Oh my god, I love it. Next row are the colors that completely pop like as soon as you open the palette. So there's Just Peachy, Candied Peach, and Caramelized. So Just Peachy is like a kind of fuchsia peach with gold shimmer in it. You know what? It looks a lot like NARS Orgasm Blush. And here's what... That is beautiful. And you know what? I'm a little bit hesitant on putting pink around my eyes, pink and peaches, because I think it kind of makes me look sick, but that is beautiful. Candy Peach is like a true peach color with some sparkle in it. It looks like pink sparkle in it. This is like, yeah, this is a true like pow peach. It's so pretty. I'll have to play with it. And you know what? It might make a really good like blush color. <laughs> Both of those would actually be really pretty blush colors. So th there's what those look like. Then caramelized is actually really nothing special as far as color goes. It's kind of just like a golden beigey brown with a little bit of gold sheen to it. And there's what that swatch is like. It's really pigmented though and it's really soft. The formula is great but I think the color is really nothing fancy. All right, here they are up close. So there's Just Peachy, Candied Peach, and Caramelized. And here are the swatches. Just Peachy's, Candied Peach, and Caramelized. Sounds like Matt just got home. I asked him to go get me Dutch Brothers coffee because I was craving it. Uh, if you guys live near Dutch Brothers, seriously, go get some. All right, next row is Bless Her Heart, Bellini, and Pure. Bless Her Heart seems to be like a greenish, goldish color with some type of shimmer or sheen in it. Here's what that one swatch is like. It's really pretty, but it's not really a color I tend to gravitate towards. Was it really busy? Uh, yeah. Did you not see my snap? No, I'm filming. Did they ask you a million questions? No, there was like 30 people in line. 30 cars in the drive through line and another 20 people in the Can you bring me my coffee? Bellini seems to be almost like a rose gold color with a little bit of sheen to it. This is going to be really pretty too. This is a color that I feel like would be beautiful all over the lid. Here's what that one swatches like. Really pretty. Yeah, it's definitely like almost like a true rose gold color. And then Puree is definitely a beautiful matte color. This would be a great dark crease color if you're dark skinned um, or like an intensifying outer V color. That's pretty. Okay, so there's Bless Her Heart, Bellini, and Puree, and then here are the swatches. Next row is really, really dark colors. So there's Tempting, which is this black color with a little bit of sparkle in it, Peach Pit, which is like a purpley gold, and then Summer Yum, which is a matte, almost reminds me a lot of the color Peanut Butter from their um, semi-sweet palette. So here is Tempting. Yeah, that is definitely a jet black, but I like that it has a little bit of sparkle in it. Peach Pit is really pretty. I feel like this is going to be like a go-to kind of fall color. Wow, I love the sheen that it has to it. It's just really pretty. It looks almost black, but like that little bit of sheen gives it something different. And then Summer Yum, holy cow, I love this color and I haven't even swatched it yet. There's Summer Yum. Oh, disappointing. It's not very pigmented but it's really pretty. Okay, so there's Tempting, there's Peach Pit, and there's Summer Yum. And here are the swatches. Tempting, Peach Pit, Summer Yum. Okay, last row right here. So there's Charmed, I'm sure, Delectable, and Talk Derby to me. Charmed, I'm sure, is almost like a taupey brown, but it's matte. This will make a really good crease color for more kind of taupey eye looks or cool toned eye looks. That's really pretty. I think that'll look really good as a crease color for all of these peachy tones. Delectable is a dark purple. There seems to be a little bit of sheen to it, but it's not like sparkly. I don't really know. It looks matte, but there's definitely a little something to it. Here's how that one swatches. Ooh, it's a little patchy. You see that? It's a little patchy, but it's really pretty. Top Derby to me definitely has like some peachy sparkle in it. So it's almost like a purple black with peach sparkle in it. And it looks like the powder itself is matte, but there is sparkle in it. And I have no room for it. I'm just going to put it down here. And there they are up close. So there's Charmed, I'm sure, Delectable, and Talk Derby to me. 
And here are the swatches. So Charmed I'm Sure, Delectable, and Talk Derby to Me. Okay, now let's put these on my eyes. The true test, right? So I think I'm gonna try to, I have to use that color Luscious. Holy cow, I'm gonna start with that first. So I'm going to apply that all over my lid with the Sigma E55 brush. Let's see how it applies. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. And there isn't a whole lot of fallout, which is good. So I don't get all that gunk like stuck in my lashes. I love that. <gasps> that color is so pretty. Okay, now I need a crease color. I think I'm gonna try, you know what? I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna be bold and I'm gonna put this candied peach in my crease with the Sigma Tapered Blending E35 brush. Let's see, I've never done something like this before. It applies really well. It seems to blend really well also. That looks so pretty. There is a little bit more fallout with this candied peach, by the way, so heads up there. Super pretty. Okay, so now I need an outer color. Let's use this Summer Yum color as my like outer V. I love it. I think this is gonna look so pretty. Okay, so remember this is like a matte kind of peanut butter-esque color. It's almost like a reddish peanut butter color. Seriously, is so pretty and this is like an eye look that I would probably never create You know without kind of going out of my comfort zone a little bit and I love it so much. It's very warm It's very summer like sunset. Oh wow. So so pretty Okay, I'm gonna finish my top part of my eye off with a little bit of a highlight I think I'm gonna use this peaches and cream and I'm applying that with the Marabella eye blender brush and just kind of connect the space between my eyebrow and where I blended it out a little bit and just make it less harsh. Oh my gosh, I love this so, so, so much. Okay, I think that's it for the shadow. I could probably go in and play with it a little bit more. This is my first time, you guys know that. So if you want to see more looks using this palette, let me know, and I will definitely film that. I'm just going to do the rest of my makeup real quick. So I'm going to put some Ardency In Monster Eyeliner Eyeliner on my lower lash line. This is in the color Coffee. I feel like brown will just look a little bit better with this eye look because of the peaches. I don't want to go in with a black and you know, mess it all up. And then last step is mascara. I do have my lash extensions, but I'm actually like overdue for a fill. <laughs> I was supposed to get a fill today and I moved it because I'm just too busy. So I'm gonna put mascara on anyways, just to like make them look a little bit more full. So this is the Amazing Lash Studio Mascara. It's like special mascara for lash extensions. Um, I don't think you really need special mascara, but we'll go with it. <laughs> All right guys, well there you have it. I am loving the way this looks. I don't know if it's a mixture of like the mint green shirt and the peach nails, but like this palette just makes me want to go put on a bikini and like run through the sprinklers. I love it so much. I have to say first impressions, I am so impressed. If you can get your hands on this, go run and grab and get your hands on it. And if you can't, remember I'm giving one away as soon as I hit 10,000 subscribers. So stay tuned for that. That should be literally like any day, any week now. So it's coming up very soon, but yes, definitely recommend this hot, hot, hot item. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye guys.